Hey everybody, Ron Burke from Gaming Trend here. Today we're going to play a little bit of Hard Space Shipbreaker from Blackbird Interactive. Let's get past the awesome loading screens here. I'm already a little bit into the campaign, a couple of hours, but you'll catch up pretty quick. My job is to work on derelict spaceships and to rip out the parts. Once you get past the tutorial, um, kind of unlocked a little bit of equipment. I'll show you how that works. I've already completed a few of the certifications. Once you get past the tutorial, you can start to pick the types of ships that you're going to break down. So we're going to go with one of these easy ships so I can show you kind of how it works. We'll grab this one here. It's worth 4 million credits. Four million credits sounds like a lot till you realize that I am a billion with a B dollars worth of uh, in debt. So we're going to go ahead and zip out to the ship here. Use my grapple gun to pull myself in. And a quick application to brakes. So each ship has a ton of parts on them. Notice how that said DNGR means that that's dangerous if I were to cut into that, which I can't cut into the outside surface of the ship anyway, but uh, this ship's pressurized, so that's kind of dangerous. Um, using my scanner here, I can see inside the ship. All those yellow pieces are the attach points, which I'm going to need to get at to get into the ship here. But everything on this ship is worth something. So this antenna is worth something. Go ahead and throw that down there to my barge. Get a little bit of credits Salvage for it. Credits deposited. This one off. Um, I've been playing this for about five or so hours, so I'm kind of used to the controls. The controls, you're flying in space, so not easy. Um, I have this pinpoint laser here that I can use to cut through those attach points. Um, I like to live dangerously, so I tend to use the split saw. It's faster. And I can move these things around with my grapple gun, but that's really heavy. I can also attach a tether. These tethers are almost like the, uh, almost like the space elevator concept. Super high tensile attachments that can pull these things towards the barge where I make some money. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Alright, so let's go grab these other two nacelles. You can see Salvage when I get close that says barge credit there in the center. Whereas that says processor. We'll get to that in a minute. Go ahead and get this attached. really kind of in the way. Let's get this other nacelle out of the way. Normally I'm a mouse and keyboard kind of player, but with so many axes of controls on this, it really is best done with a, key, uh, with a uh, controller. Alright, so as I mentioned, it's kind of dangerous to go cutting into a ship that's pressurized. So we're going to go ahead and pop in through the airlock here. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Right, into the airlock. Close the outer door. Airlock pressure level increasing. These earlier ships Credits transferred. typically have a functioning air regulator. There's one. The atmosphere regulator. If I click that, it'll depressurize the ship. Increasing. Now I discovered an early trick here for getting stuff in and out of the ship this glass here in the front, which is worth a ton of money, so you want to be very careful about how you cut it. Once you can get the glass off, you can pull stuff right out the front of the ship. Don't know if 
if I quite got all the way through on that one, but we'll see. Where it highlights that orange, it means that it's still not, uh, still not detached. See how it's got that orange all the way around? So some por portion of the glass is still attached somewhere. I'm going to guess it's up here. Or I'm just going to cut the damn thing in half, and then I'll probably free it. Nope, there we go. The glass is worth a ton of money, so make sure that you process those. So this one says furnace. So there's the whoop, there's the salvage for the furnace. And I can kind of bump things that direction. Bad shot there. There we go. Oh my goodness. Do not go into the processor. It's not where you belong. So I'm going to reel this in a little bit and try that again. There we go. Deposit accepted. So now that I've got the glass out of the way, I can start to get the really valuable stuff out, which is like these computer consoles. And you can reel them in, but as you see, I damn near just smacked myself in the face with it. And you can get hurt, so you got to be mindful of how fast you're reeling things in. Salvage secured. Account All this stuff is worth a ton of money. There's also stuff like this. Oops. Yeah, how about I not throw it around the ship? Let's go in there and get it. Where'd that thing go? Here we go. It's a data drive. So if I reel that in, I can grab it. And when I go back to my, my hab, I'll be able to decrypt it or cor uh, uncorrupt it and listen to whatever the previous owner of this ship had to say. Pull these chairs out. They're worth a bunch of money. Some storage bins. Been a little closer there. Bump myself out of the way there. So you only get 15 minutes per shift to get things done. So you want to be a little selective about what you do in each shift. Although ultimately you can, at least in the current state, just come back another day and continue to work on the ship. Oh. So you want to be careful that you don't damage things too much. See how it's all sparking too? If I were to get close to that, it would probably electrify my suit, which would be bad. I'm sure I'll electrocute myself at some point in this mission. Come on. There we go. So one of the most valuable things on this ship is the reactor, which, let me bring up my work orders here, he wants me to salvage a reactor, oxygen a power cell, oh, so my oxygen is low, asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas, yeah, they wouldn't want you to miss your salvage quotas, sometimes you can find oxygen on a ship, like that, I believe, yep, some oxygen, oxygen so it's on the ship, it's for me to have, so I'm just going to take that with me, now I don't have to go back to the ship, or the, uh, the hab to get oxygen tanks, which cost money. Nothing in this game is free. Alright, so I'm having trouble getting that one out. If I rotate a little bit, there we go. I can pull it right out. So right about the seven and a half minute mark left to salvage on this ship. So why don't we go get the reactor? The thing about the reactor is that it is extremely dangerous to remove because once you once you pull it, you have a limited amount of time to get it uh, off the ship before it explodes. So you got to get it down into the uh, down into the barge as fast as possible. Now my method, I like to clear out the path by simply cutting out the floor. So very carefully, because the last thing you want to do is hit the reactor with the laser. We're going to go ahead and cut the beams that are holding the floor in place. I believe... There we go. Alright, it's now floating free. I can pop the grapple. And then I'm going to attach a tether, send it over there to the processor. And I now have straight shot to pull the reactor. 
Now again, I'm pulling something really dangerous out of the ship, so I don't want to be really close to it. So, I'm trying to pull it out. Come on. We're going to shoot it right past us. There we go. Reactor recovered. Now another thing that's really valuable on the ship, obviously, is the engine. So we're going to go ahead and pull this thruster cap off. I can go in processing. Oh my goodness, my throat is bad today. Well, nope. <laughs> I guess that's going into the fire. Valuable component destroyed. Penalty applied. Yeah, sorry. Alright, so let's try that again. We're gonna pull the thruster out here. Oh, right in the face. Attach that with a tether. Send that to the barge. That'll be worth a bunch of money. Cut it. You got five minutes left in this shift. Knock out that work order before they turn the lights out on you. Weaver out. Yeah, yeah. Weaver's always telling you when you're running low on oxygen or trying to keep you from biting off more than you can chew and other folksy wisdom stuff. So using my scanner, there's no more attach points here, and I don't have a laser strong enough to cut through titanium. So I'll end up throwing this whole structure into the processor or into the furnace, depending on what's best for it. So let's go back inside. Well, for one, these controls are valuable. So I'm going to jerk that. Throw it right into the barge. made that nice hole in the floor, so we'll go back in there. So it's unrealistic to expect that you're going to get through a whole ship in a single shift. Uh, if somebody can do it, I'll be really impressed. But for what's valuable, you'd be surprised. Here's a set of keys. Not sure what those go to, but even these lights. These little lights here are worth something. So I'm gonna pull those, throw those in the barge. It's all worth money. So yeah, in the beginning you'll probably start off throwing large chunks away and not even realize it. But these, uh, these lights here are even worth something. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. So before we run out of time here, let's go ahead and try and free up another floor section. Or I don't know, it might be a ceiling section at this point. I guess it's all depending on where you're aimed. All right, so it says this goes in the processor. Throw that in the processor. So I think we've gotten almost the, all the attach points, but I can't quite get to the ones that are inside the wall here. So I'll go ahead and cut into this section of the wall carefully, because I don't know what's behind it. a charm. There we go. Uh-oh. Running out of oxygen. Now something's still attached here. Thought I had pretty good aim there for a second. There we go. Now it's loose. So yeah, you really want to be careful because behind there was something highly explosive. Alright, so one of the keys to this game is really learning how to use your 
your tools for things other than what they were intended. Your grapple does a great job of reeling you in. Just be careful you don't go too fast, or you're going to end up hurting yourself. We're just about out of time, and we're out of oxygen, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. All in all, not a bad haul. 1.3 million, I destroyed one computer terminal, and we lost that thruster cap that I accidentally threw in the, in the furnace. Not a bad day. Long way from a billion, but that's for bigger, bigger, bigger ships. So another day. Every day you've got to pay. If you happen to die, you've got to pay a resurrection fee. There's always interest on your loans. You've got to pay the lease, bay transportation fees for the ship that they pulled in. You've got to rent your cutter. Got to rent your grapple unit. The rent on your hab, utilities, your helmet, your scanner, your suit, thruster rental, all of it. Everything costs money. So using your equipment does cause damage to it. So I went ahead and bought some repair kits. Completing objectives gives you the opportunity to do upgrades. So, like this is going to enhance the range on my grapple gun, or the strength of the things it can carry. I've already bought that one. The amount of tethers. This one creates a much larger charge push so that lets me push uh, larger objects that normally I'd have to use a tether to move around. But I'll need 550 of these uh, proprietary LT credits. Similarly, your cutter has a bunch of different upgrades on improving what it can cut into or how far it can reach with the split saw or that stinger laser, how much heat it generates, how fast it cools down, faster thrusters, being able to brake faster, more fuel, better scanners. Right now I have the one that lets me scan objects, but there's one that lets me scan the systems on the ships, which is helpful to know whether it's pressurized or uh, if there's something dangerous like that fuel can that we found behind the, the door when we cut through that, uh, that piece of aluminum. Not being able to see that before you go cutting into things can cause a pretty nasty explosion and that just costs you more money because now you're going to have to use one of your clones. Your helmet has a certain amount of O2. You run out of that pretty quick as you saw. Um, this is a nice upgrade because it lets you recharge when you're inside a pressurized area. Same thing with the suit, you can put some armor on it, let you uh, fight off those electrical shocks that we saw, as well as these audio syncs. I haven't uh, unlocked these yet, but being able to hear in space, I'm not sure what that would do for you. And uh, let's go ahead and decrypt or uncorrupt that uh, file that we found. some sort of audio log. Got a crack in your mask, go your Damn it. Advertising. Advertising for the company we work for. Link's branded gear. It's a cut above the rest. Figures. Ridiculous. This looks like an internal termination letter. Great. I think the search for his replacement ended with me getting a job. It's tough in space. So yeah, our work on uh, the previous thing there. We completed a, a work order objective. I had already recovered a reactor and a thruster. So that's complete. Now I'm starting to work on my junior apprentice. So there you go. That's uh, Shipbreaker in a nutshell. Join me later and we'll do some advanced stuff. But for now, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.